A very big welcome to everybody. Today I'm participating in another Aussie YouTube hop and the theme this month is to be inspired by animals but also to limit our supplies to six items. My very first two items are going to be some stencils that I chose as well as this gorgeous cut file from the Silhouette store. As per my usual style, I have no idea where this layout is going. All I know is that I want to use this gorgeous cat file from the Silhouette store and that I'm going to be using this photo of my gorgeous cat when he was a kitten. It was his actual first day in our household. I also picked these, this gorgeous paper. It's from Kazercraft. It's from the Poor Perfect collection. It's called Cats. And I mainly picked it because I loved that it looked like fur. The other side looked like fur. So what I thought I'd do is trace the cat cut cat cut file wow that's a bit of a tongue twister and then just stick it on i think it's at this point that i decide that i'm no longer going to use the gorgeous love heart and leaves that are cascading from its tail i decided that it was just a little bit too much for this layout so i'm just going to cut them all out and then just use the silhouette of the cat on my layout there are some wonderful participants in this Aussie YouTube hop. So in my description box, I will leave a link to the next participant. It would be great if you participated in the hop by clicking on their link and please comment on everyone's, everyone's videos. It would be really appreciated and it gives us YouTubers a bit of a kick to see that everyone is um, joining in in the fun. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just going to be inking around the edges of my cat and I'm using Distress Oxides and I do believe the colour is Vintage Photo. For my background paper I'm going to use this gorgeous paper from Kazercraft. It's also from the Poor Perfect collection. It's called Kitty and I wanted to keep that cat there. So what I did was I ripped him right out and I'm just going to put it back into my stash to use on a future layout. Then I had the issue of what am I going to do with that whole ripped area and I had this corrugated paper and I thought you know what that's going to work perfectly there so I sort of cut out a piece to stick there and that way that ripped part was going to blend in nicely with the rest of the layout. Of course I'm going to ink those white edges with my vintage photos distress oxides and then I didn't like the colour of the corrugated paper. It was just a little bit too bland. So I'm just using my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and I'm just going to distress that a little bit more. And then I'm going to glue everything down. And this is when I sort of think, oh, I need to balance this layout a bit more. So I decided I'm going to put a bit more corrugated paper on the top left-hand corner. So there goes another rip, some more inking just to keep everything well in line or in the same pattern whatever I'm not very good with my words today I'm sorry I've just had a very late night and I'm tired and this has to be up and running for you wonderful people to watch I decided it's time to work on my photo so I'm trying to see how I'm going to match my photo I do want to use that corrugated paper again but it wasn't really helping the photo stand out so from my stash I had this gorgeous scrap of paper it sort of got these bluey grey undertones and I thought that it really went well to highlight my gorgeous little kitty so I'm just going to use my perfect layers ruler to to mat it and then I'm going to do another mat with the corrugated paper this is where I made a bit of a mistake. I forgot to ink my corrugated paper and then I just realized that it just didn't really fit in with the rest of the layout, but no problems. Uh, my ATG gun hadn't actually settled down. So what I did was I just pulled up the edges and was able to luckily ink all around it so that you could see that gorgeous vintage photo color everywhere and put that aside and now I'm thinking oh what am I going to do and that's when it hit me I got out my clear gesso and I'm just going to gesso this whole page then I left it to dry naturally and once it dried I got out some of my I think they were my distress sprays and I'm just going to do a bit of the um, packaging technique just around where my photo is going to go and the colours I chose were, let me see if I remember correctly. I am using the Distress Spray and the colour is Vintage Photo. And I will also be using, on top of that, I'm later go, going to go in and I'm going to use the Distress Spray in Shabby Shutters. 
Okay, let's do a tally of my products. I've got my stencils that I picked and my cat uh, my cut file, so that's two products. My Distress Oxide was my third product, and now these Distress Sprays are my fourth product. And it's soon going to be time for some stenciling. The stencil I chose in the end was the gorgeous stencil that I have of this Silhouette of a Tree. Absolutely love it. I got some embossing paste, and I'm going to mix it with some of this Art Finna Bear uh, Brown Rust paste. Absolutely love it. I love the colour it gives me. I love the texture that it gives to the layout. And I just think that once I stenciled the tree on, it really brought this layout to life. So keeping a tally of my products, the Brown Rust is now going to be classified as product number five. So I'm well within my limits. For anyone interested, the stencil is called Sheena and it's by Sheena Douglas and the actual stencil is called Grunge Tree. I'm not sure if you can still get this stencil. I've had it in my stash for a little while, but it is one of my favorite stencils. This layout is now nearly complete, but it just needs a few finishing touches. And that's when I remembered that I could use six products and I've only used five. So I got out my uh, Kazercraft collectibles and it's from the Poor Perfect, Poor Perfect collection. And I love this little silhouette of a cat. I'm going to use that. And down the bottom, I also put in a tag and the little saying, Right down the, uh, at the bottom of the tag says part of the family and of course he is part of the family and on top of the right hand yeah the right hand part of the photo I added my fur baby with a little bit of wool because what kitten doesn't love wool I added his name with some of the letters from my stash and his name is Monty so I put it down on the paw absolutely love it a few brads just to finish off that tag and my layout is complete. So thank you everyone for watching. Remember to click on the next participants that I will link in my description box. Thank you all. If you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, please hit that subscription button and the bell notification so that you're notified whenever I do upload videos in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and till next time. Bye everybody.